Hey guys, so welcome back to another video and today's video is like a review but for me it's more like a personal opinion uh, about this new mouse that I got uh, the new uh, Rocket Kova 2015-2016 this is the new version of the old Rocket Kova and I got this mouse because my old mouse the Logitech G502 wasn't ki quite old it was like 3 months old but it broke so I give it back to the warranty and they give me the, the money back and I decided to buy this one because I saw many reviews on YouTube uh, some speak very good about it about the new design compared to the old Rocket Kova and there's a spe specific review on YouTube he calls it review but I don't think it's a review it's more like a troll video about this mouse and he speaks really bad about, about this mouse like uh, how it feels on the hand uh, how it looks and all that stuff I don't disagree with him because it's his opinion of course everyone has a different opinion but I don't also agree for being a review so I decided to get this mouse so I have it on my hand and I know I know it's, if it's good or bad so let's check it out and don't think it is a re uh, paid promotion by Rocket because I would love to be paid by Rocket but it was paid from my own pocket so let's check it out. Okay, so like I've said, this is my personal opinion about this mouse, so not everyone has to agree or disagree with me. Of course, I will try to cover all the aspects of the mouse, should, such as the software that it needs to operate. So starting from the beginning, let's check first the specs of the mouse. The mouse is made from a made plastic, all the buttons are from plastic too, the wheel has a rubber on it, the sensor that comes in the mouse is a Pro Optic R6 that it can reach from 250 to 7000 dpi, which is powered by a Turbo Core V2 32-bit IRM based MCU. So this sensor fixes all the problems that the previous cover had. So it feels like soon the mouses will start to run games or run Windows inside of it. <laughs> the cable is 1.5 meter long, it's not thick and it's braided, which is a good improvement from the old cover. It has six programmable buttons or seven with the DPI one in case that you want to use it for something else and not to change the DPI or 11 with the wheel left and right click which is possible to change all the buttons in the software made for this model let's not forget about the easy shift available on this mouse that will double the buttons from 11 to 22 which is too much for me for a daily use but hey for who use it or needs to use it then it's great that it's there speaking about the size it has 12 by 6 cm thickness which is not neither big neither small, it fits good for my hands, but of course might not fit everyone. Now let's speak a bit about what I don't like about this mouse, but it's nothing of a big deal. First is the wheel, where I come from the Logitech G502, it had a metal wheel and I loved it. I never failed when scrolling a page, while this one is made from plastic and it has a rubber on it, for a better grip. It looks good with the lace on it, but I don't like it because of the rubber, on it and because it's kinda sensitive when scrolling so until I got used to it it was hard to scroll sometimes because the scrolling was too fast the second thing I don't like about it is the bottom part which is not a big deal because I almost never see it but it looks a bit ugly the part at the end but I understand that they maybe got forced to do it like that because of the overall design of the mouse the third and final thing I don't like about it is the DPI switch which is only one and you can go forward with the DPI so you can go back and it sits behind the wheel which sometimes I pressed it by mistake when trying to press the wheel which again is not of a big deal as I got used to it and I don't press it anymore and on the software there is an option that speaks when you change the DPI so if you don't know in which DPI you are you will hear from the program something like 400 DPI 600 DPI 800 DPI now let's speak about what it could be improved on this mouse, or at least for my taste. For one, the name on this mouse it also could have LEDs, so it lights up the same way as the wheel and the back of the mouse. I would like to see how that looks, can't say if it will look bad or good, just an idea. For second, the plastic and feel of the mouse, it feels a bit too plasticky, but how the plastic is a made plastic, it makes you forget about being cheap plastic. I understand why they didn't improve the plastic so much because the old cover was made from kinda the same plastic and feel so they wanted to keep that feeling I say that because how I come from the Logitech G502 that mouse was heavy and the plastic around it was really hard compared to this soft but again for some it might be great how it is 
and for some it might feel too cheap, for me it's ok, because it's a made plastic and makes me forget about it. And for third are the buttons on the side of the mouse, which could have a better feeling when pressing on them and could have some different design, just like the ones from the top. And for final let's speak about what I like about this mouse or I didn't like it at first but now I like. First that I didn't like but now I like is the sides of the mouse where you put the fingers. It was a weird feeling but after using it for some hours I got used to it and it actually helped me in games as my fingers fit and holds the mouse perfect and they don't slide, which in games it might happen sometimes. The overall design of the mouse I actually like it, but the grey color of the mouse I don't like it, maybe because this white makes my eye see a different mouse. The design of the mouse it feels like a car when watching from behind and even when watching from top it feels like a car, but the lights on the back makes this mouse look great. If it wasn't for the lights on the back, I think the mouse wouldn't look so great, but maybe it's just me. I wanted the mouse for gaming and for productivity, and this mouse fits me because it's a gaming mouse and the sensor does a great job in games, and because of the top buttons near the left and right click, I can be productive. Some doesn't like these buttons at top or say that they are not comfortable, well, let me tell you that these buttons are the best thing that it happened to me on a mouse, as I programmed the right button for Ctrl C and left button for Ctrl V, so now I can copy and paste only with the mouse. I don't need to reach the to keyboard anymore to do that task. You can program it for any other task, but for me, this task was the most useful. And if someone says that this mouse isn't comfortable, isn't productive, then they are nothing more than haters. Ok, about being comfortable, this is different with everyone. For some might really not be comfortable, but not being productive is a shot in the head. Even my previous Logitech G502, that ha was more expensive than this one, wasn't so productive. Just because this allows much more programmable buttons and the best feature that everyone is forgetting about this mouse is the ability to use it for right hand and for left hand. Yes, how this mouse is a bit universal, it's made for left or right handed people, which other mouses forgets about left handed people. It even has an option on the software to choose if you're right or left handed, but even if it wasn't that option on the software, you could use it for left hand because of the universal shape that this mouse has. Most of the mouses forget about being universal and they are made specific for right handed people. So when affirming that a mouse is comfortable or not comfortable, you should first think how is the mouse made and for what purposes. So because of that, of course no mouse is perfect and don't listen or believe everything you see on internet. If a mouse is great or bad for someone, this doesn't mean it will be the same for you. Go see it and try it for yourself, because everyone is different. For my final words about it, if you're thinking about in getting this mouse, first go to see if you like it or not and try it, because at first you might like and then you might not, or you might not like at first and then you might like. And try to get the white version, because the grey version doesn't look so great. I saw them both and the white version looks definitely better, at least for my eyes. Thank you guys for watching and let me know your thoughts. So this is the program that Rocket Cover works, the Rocket Swarm, and this is the pin settings, you can pin your favorite settings here. Um, here we have also alien effects, so if you have a laptop with alien effects, you can pair the colors of the, your mouse with the alien effects, and the settings which you can update uh, the program itself, and also firmware updates for the mouse itself, as you can see have even changelog to say what it was improved on the updates and uh, on the settings of the um, of the software here you can have the DPI switcher which I programmed to 400, 600, 800 and so on and when you press the button, now I'm pressing the button uh, it changes the DPI and also there's a, you can hear uh, the vertical scroll speed you can change, horizontal tilt and the double click speed also you can change uh, here the, for the button assignment, as you can see you can uh, change the button layouts as you want on the easy shift also and for the buttons on the side I have uh, back forwards on the browser, forward, back forwards, uh, control C, control V on the upper buttons as I've said before and on advanced settings you have the polling rate of course, most of the mouses have and here is the DPI switch, when you switch you hear the, the sound um, the orientation, left and right handed, very important for this mouse and most of uh, more important for the left handed people 
and the illumination on the on the mouse which you can change between breathing fully light or blinking and you can change the color effect which uh, you can uh, choose only one color to appear all the time or you can uh, make a color flow so it changes between colors and the speed uh, which I like to have on low speed because uh, on low speed and in breathing because it makes it, the breathing a little smoother but you can change as you want and then you can have game profiles you can add uh, games or programs applications whatever I don't use it I don't like it profile manager and macros uh, I don't use macros I never use macros and I will never use I I don't see a, a good option for macros but who he, he uses then it's great